dear students welcome to your pdia now i am going to discuss one question that was previously asked in hpcl interview that is about on load tap changing of a transformer oltc on load yes on load tap changing in a transformer what does it mean without disconnecting power supply we are going to change the tapping of the transformer if we change the tapping of the transformer voltage can be either increased or decreased voltage can be either increased or decreased first of all what is the what is the purpose of this oltc let's understand what is the purpose of this uh, oltc let's understand okay see i'm taking i'm taking one transformer one transformer i'm taking hv winding this side and this is lv winding this is lv winding this is lv winding okay yes this is lv winding and uh, this is the magnetic circuit symbol you all know yes now now see uh, this is uh, tapping one i call this is tapping two i call this is tapping three i call okay for example i took only three tappings now without any tap changing the total voltage here to here yes the total i can i can say like a one one dash is the input and at a two two dash two two dash is the output okay now first of all what is the need of uh, changing tap what is the need of changing tap here the voltage what we are applying is uh, v1 i call v1 i call v1 is a fixed value v1 is a fixed value now see number of turns here what we are changing here we are changing number of turns v1 is a fixed value number of turns are fixed now number of turns are we are changing not fixed when number of turns changes emf per turn will change let me write if uh, first of all here there is a load here there is uh, some load i can say loads I i'll show like this there is one load bulb one this is bulb one this is load one and uh, there is there is one more bulb like this this is a uh, bulb two and there is one more bulb like this this is bulb three like this we have three bulbs three bulbs uh, i'll name it as a b c there are three bulbs like this now what happens is what what the practical problem is whenever uh, we are connecting loads like this uh, the secondary current will increase when load increases then drop in the transformer in the secondary is going to increase why because load is increasing when drop increases uh, the the voltage here across the load is going to decrease uh, due to that uh, the load may not satisfy means uh, the operation of the load uh, at the load is not fruitful if, if the voltage is less okay now what shall i do what shall i do we will be doing one thing here we by changing these uh, turns uh, in the primary these uh, turns in the primary we are going to increase the voltage at the secondary without the switching of the supply which of without the switching of the supply we are not going to switch of the supply okay that is what the advantage how it is done how it is done i'll tell you see here first of all this uh, tap changing will be kept always on the primary yes tap changing is kept the tap changing is kept yes the tap changing is placed not primary ma tap changing is placed on hv hv winding you know why why it is you know that in transformer connection hv winding is kept on the top lv winding see this is lv winding on the hv winding is placed it is very easy to take out the tapping from hv than lv that is one reason the second reason is i'll write the reasons also i'll write the reason so it is easy it is easy to take tapping tapping from hv since since it is it is on the top it is on the top second reason is why we are uh, uh, taking uh, tappings on the hv why you know second reason is hv side means the current will be less uh, then uh, there is a less possibility of sparking see when our tap is changing there will be variation in the current that current variation may cause sparking see this current is flowing through inductance 
whenever there is a change of current uh, ldi by dt will come into picture I, if uh, if current is very high then uh, that a uh, voltage which is going to be induced is going to be very big which may damage which may damage the switches and all or winding may burn that's why see as the current is less on hv side on hv side current is less therefore therefore the problem of uh, therefore the problem of sparking the problem of sparking is less the problem of sparking is less yes now observe here yes observe here yeah now one more point i want to discuss if a number of turns if number of turns decreases if number of turns decreases what happens emf per turn will increase emf per turn will increase if uh, number of turns decreases see what i do is in the primary in the primary see secondary side there is a voltage drop i want to compensate it i need see this bulb need a voltage of 220 but uh, due to this load there is a drop in the secondary which is making the voltage to be 200 only i want to increase that 20 volts for that what i did is i changed the trapping from 1 to 2 where the number of uh, see the winding got reduced number of turns got reduced if number of turns got reduced the uh, emf per turn on the primary increases uh, then emf per turn on the secondary also increases uh, due to that here number of turns are fixed here number of turns are fixed see if uh, I, i'll write here i think you're all understanding my points if uh, if emf per turn on primary on primary increases that implies emf per turn emf per turn on secondary also on secondary also increases emf per turn on secondary also increases therefore voltage at at secondary side increases now we increase the voltage sir if load is decreased if load is decreased come back here there is a vice versa case also if we disconnect all the loads na then there is a high voltage at the secondary it may be 240 the rated voltage is 220 there is a possibility for the insulation to damage then we have to increase the number of turns on the primary by using that on load tap changing on load tap changer okay as the number of turns on the primary increases so emf per turn will decrease on the primary if emf per turn is decreasing on the secondary also emf per turn will decrease the total emf is going to or total voltage is going to decrease now the question here is uh, how this on load tap changing will be done means uh, without disconnecting power supply is it possible to do that yes very much yes i can say yes so there are some several steps uh, and i am showing you the schemat also this is the schemat this is the schemat yes this is uh, the schemat i i'll i'll show you the schemat before i go to the schemat uh, let me tell you one point uh, that on load tap changing oltc is used uh, to change uh, the voltage level at the secondary it means uh, see one side you are insulating that uh, oltc on the secondary side you are looking for voltage either increment or decrement but always it is required to change or to connect this tapping on the hv side we saw the reason we saw the reasons why that it has to be connected always at the hv side that the oltc on load tap changer must be connected at the hv side always we will see the schemat what are the steps without disconnecting power supply how it is happening we are going to see let's see how that schemat works let's see how that schemat works yeah so this uh, this picture is from google source is google yes this is uh, hv side and this is a on load tap changing schemat what what this and how it operates i'll tell you see there are 
two coils here there are two coils here i'll name that those coils as one and two i'll name those coils as this is one and this is two now presently presently yes uh, to here at the bottom it is means at one it is means total winding is connected at the primary total winding is connected at the primary and uh, there is a switch called vacuum switch there is a switch called vacuum switch i'll tell you what is the purpose of that switch and uh, the selector switches see these two are the selector switch this is a bypass switch this is the bypass switch and this is connected to supply this is connected to these two are connected to supply okay now we want we want to change we want to change this connection from here to to the second place to the second place what happens is we will move this selector switch one of the selector switch will be moved let's see how it happens slightly this uh, coil one got moved and it, it is coming near to the second one it is coming near to the second second one and this vacuum switch is open this vacuum switch is open now what is the circuit connected now this is the circuit that is connected this is a circuit that is connected okay closed circuit it is there is no interruption for the power supply now observe later with the slight more movement with the slight more movement observe here slight more movement this second one got this this second uh, coil this second coil this one you see this got connected to the second one yes this is the second position i call it got connected but uh, but still but still this vacuum switch is open that vacuum switch is open means even now also which one is in the connection which one is in the connection observe this one only in the connection okay there is no interruption for the power supply now come back come here here now the vacuum switch got closed there is some mechanism how the vacuum switch has to be closed vacuum switch somehow vacuum switch got closed now observe now here there are two two things see this is the power supply in uh, upside i can say yes this is the upside and if you come here this uh, this is connected this is also connected you observe this is also connected this is also connected here now observe these two are in series these two are in series yes this is not connected here these two are in series observe here and those are connected across this one and two there will be a slight circulating current which is flowing in this closed path yeah this is the closed path complete closed path is this there is a closed path means still there is a connection there is no disconnection there is a connection there is some small current will be flowing that amount of current will be limited by these reactors that is the purpose of reactor a reactor means what inductor that doesn't allow sudden change in its current that's why you are using reactors there these two reactors will limit the current that is flowing by because across these two one and two there will be some emf for for every turn there will be some emf there will be some emf that may become short circuit that may become short circuit to avoid that one we are we are putting these two coils here these two coils in the next step what happens is in the next step what happens is that selector switch will move from this position 1 to 2 position 1 to 2 but still these two coils are connected but still these two coils this one yes this one is connected and this one is also connected like this still but the current is limited why because uh, there are reactors though there are reactors those reactors will limit the current in the next step if you observe yes i didn't uh, uh, got the next step in the next step what we will do is we are going to disconnect this uh, vacuum switch yes we are we are going to disconnect this va vacuum switch i'll show you which one we are going to disconnect we are going to disconnect this vacuum switch see there is a vacuum switch here I i'll show you here this is the vacuum switch this switch will be or i can say i can draw like this this switch will be disconnected this switch will be disconnected yes yeah this switch will be disconnected now observe see this uh, white space is a disconnection of the switch now we have a closed path only this way only this way there is a closed path means in this process we changed the tapping from this one 1 to 2 without disconnecting the power supply this is how this is how on load tap changer will work this is how on load tap changer will work see in the interview if he ask you you must ask him the pen paper draw the schematic and explain him very clearly very clearly see now where you can find the step of uh, how uh, on load tap changer will work uh, please understand this one carefully and uh, uh, give the same answer in the interview definitely the interviewer will get uh, impressed with your answer thank you